Hello everyone and welcome to Starbase Texas for the 11th flight test of the world's largest and most powerful reusable rocket Starship. Today's flight marks our second reuse of a super heavy booster and what's expected to be the final launch of our second generation vehicle. Today we're coming to you live from Star Factory, just under two miles away from the rocket on the pad. Flight control team is on there, they're getting Starship and Super Heavy ready for liftoff. So as you can tell, when we look at the vehicle, prop load is underway, things are looking good. We did shift our T0 a little bit, we're tracking to 6.23 p.m. Central Time, just a couple minutes into our window. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. stage separates it's going to make its way down also splash down in the gulf and as we're starting to get into the denser part of the atmosphere the booster is using four hypersonic grid fins to guide itself through atmospheric entry towards its landing site and we're just ship, about ship, 20 ship, seconds ship. away from landing burn start where we'll first ignite the center 13 engines then bring that down to five to slow down the booster for landing and finally that will come down to three and we'll cut all of them off while we're still about 200 meters still making its way we've got a little under two minutes left in this ascent burn so we've got all six raptor engines still firing so the next the next major milestone we're going to be looking for is seco that's our second stage engine cutoff that's uh should be coming right at about eight minutes and 58 seconds into flight so we've got about a minute 20 still to go RVAX have shut off. Ship engine cut off. All right. All ship Raptors have shut nominal down. Nominal orbit insertion. You just heard nominal orbital insertion. So we are on the path that we want it to be. So we've got a ship back in space. A whole lot ship planned for it. Lots more still to come. Great seeing Super Heavy make its way to the water. Uh, but I'm excited to see what ship can do in space. Uh, but we are getting ready for payload deploy. That's going to start once we get the payload door open. All right, looks like we got the door open. Looks like we got a little bit of movement there, Dan. Coax it out. Get it moving, Jake. There we go. All right, first one going out. All right, first. 
first one's deployed. Getting ready for the second one here. We do a little reset back to the center position. All right, now with payload deploy complete, Starship will now close its payload door and continue to coast around Earth to the Indian Ocean. We still have a ton of major events to come today, including Raptor Relight at about uh, T plus 37 minutes. Uh, that will be followed by atmospheric re-entry and splash down. Oh, Raptor ignition. Launch it. All right, there was that Raptor Relight. Looks like engine three. the ship is currently re-entering Earth's atmosphere. Uh, as a reminder, we don't plan to recover the spacecraft today, but rapid and reliable reusability is the ultimate goal. As already you can see plasma starting to build on the windward side of the rocket there. And, uh, you know, re-entry is a critical phase of flight, and we need information on how the ship systems perform. Reentry is also extremely demanding portion of flight because we need the ship to scrub off all of the energy we use to launch the rocket. All right, that was basically our reverse max Q. So most aerodynamic stress that it's going to see during reentry, we just passed through it. So we're past that, we're past peak heating. So we're, we're now starting into our really heavy bank maneuver. And this kind of, this does almost like a half circle loop um, to our actual trajectory. We're heading to the same exact splashdown point, but we're kind of doing a, a, a more roundabout way to get there, where it's this kind of big, long half moon loop, and then a really aggressive and a twist right at the very end. And that would line us up with the launch tower. That's where we have a lot of flight. Starship is transonic, starting a belly flop phase of flight. Yep, the belly flop phase that we perfected in the ship landing startup. There's our landing burn. Three down to two. Starship has landed. <laughs> 